Welcome back to our second date. I'm here with Jeff Stoltz. Yes, we were saying on Twitter, we were having a little Twitter banter that this is, because this is our second interview, but really just do interviews sometimes feel like dating, speed dating? Oh, I mean, I was actually direct messaging you things. So more than just Twitter. <laughs> right. I, was saying, I wasn't going to bring that part what up. What are you but doing you, Saturday if you, night? If you want to go there, let's go there. You were pretending to be playing hard to get, but I'm going to get you. Really? Yeah. Well, he cuts to the chase on I'm the gonna second break date. It down. What's going to happen on the third date? Because the third date is when you sort of like decide to pursue or go home. Oh, that happened on the first date. So I just moved <laughs> faster. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I'm blushing already. And it's only a Monday morning. This is it's going well. It's going yeah, well. Like do you it. intentionally do that on dates? You get the girl, you throw her off? Well, I throw you off. I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm asking you on a date. Can we let's go out tonight <laughs> after this interview? I have a screening to go to. You want to come? Let's well, great. <laughs> okay, great. It's a it's a romantic comedy. And we'll tweet. <laughs> we'll tweet be, each other I'll from across drunk. the thing. Yeah. Do you do you tweet drunk? Evidently, I didn't think is I did. Is that what? Is that why I got asked out? Why oh, I got yeah. asked out? No, I really yeah, no, back you're really into a corner on that <laughs> yeah, one. Didn't you I? Really yeah. are. Oh, I wasn't I was thinking. Really wasted. Yeah, Otherwise, was, I'd never. Everything else bailed. <laughs> One of the things I think is adorable about you, you tweet a lot of things about did your you, family. Did you hear that she thinks I'm adorable? Did you guys catch that? I like that. Keep talking. Talking, talking. about your family. Sure, Why talk about whatever you want to talk about, just call me you, adorable. You, you, tweet, you tweet a lot about your family, your parents, your siblings. Yeah. And there was a tweet that your mom came into town Oh. and that, within 20 and minutes, Oh yeah. you take your mother to in and out you That's don't all she take wanted. her, That's really? all she wanted. You don't take her to fine dining. You we know? tried and she's like, well, I think, you know, Maybe it's probably, it's, uh, I'm tired, so let's just go through. It'll be faster if we get to, all she wanted to do was suck down a in and out <laughs> and, a, and a chocolate shake. She keeps it real. Yeah, yeah, she certainly does. So let's talk about Enlisted. Let's do. It's a comedy. I mean, it's it a is comedy, a comedy, yeah. But there's some heart in there, too. There is. So um, I, I feel like the kind of the focal point of the show is the relationship between my two brothers and I. Um, and the fact that I'm their boss during the day and their big brother at night and how those lines blur and that we lost our father and uh, Keith David who plays our boss is kind of the father figure for us. He, would, he served with our father um, and made a promise to him that he would look out for us if anything ever happened to him. So he's kind of our, he's kind of our weird, legless, African-American father <laughs> and, and we, uh, we're just these three kind of idiots who love each other and also drive each other crazy. Um, and it's a workplace comedy. Our workplace just happens to be an army base. You're playing a sergeant. Yes, yes. Staff Sergeant Pete Hill. Okay, we got. We definitely gonna go throw down some push-ups in this interview. I think the sergeants get to tell people to do those. Okay, so, well, so this okay. is the thing. Do you go through the the training, like the military training, or that, or do you go through drill sergeant training to pre prepare for this show? So. That's an interesting point and things that I've learned though. I've, even though I'm a sergeant, I'm definitely not a drill sergeant. So we went through the training and we did a very small glimpse of what a real boot camp would be. And we flew down to uh, El Paso, Texas to Fort, uh, Fort Bliss. And we thought we were going for like, a, hey, maybe we'll get up early and shake a couple hands, go for a little jog. And then, you know, like, a little maybe, half a mile, yeah, you know, and, race and, walk. And then they'll take a couple pictures of it and then we'll be done. Um, we pulled onto the base and Parker and Angelique were like, I thought we were staying at a hotel. I was like, well, it's a big base, so there must be a hotel on the base. So I just, nobody told us anything. And all of a sudden we pull up and there's a very large black man standing there screaming at us, saying um, everything you could say. Can you demonstrate? <laughs> um, let me let me see if I, and it was just basically, a, you know, the whole, you're wasting my time. I own you, those kind of things. Oh, come on, like, you could do better than that, Jeff. Hold on, let me, let me, th I, I, hold on, I, I, I'm <laughs> traumatized from it. it was tra I was traumatized. And then it, it was the all, empty your bags, all your contraband on the floor. And I was like, what the f is contraband? I don't, I don't know what's going on. What so is contra contraband? Our phones, our iPads, computers. Chris Lowell is a photographer and he had all his thousands of dollars of camera equipment because he thought he'd get a, a couple great snapshots on the base. So of they, the working out. Yeah. Yeah. So they took all our stuff, dumped it in trash bags. Then we were running back and forth. Like literally, it was the Keystone cops bouncing into each other. Nobody knew where to stand, where, how, like how to respond. We were calling, Anjali kept calling the, um, calling the staff sergeant, uh, the drill sergeant, um, sir. 
and that's a no-no because you don't call him. What are you supposed him. to call him? Well, you, um, I would have thought you call him sir. No, if you're not in, if you're enlisted, you are not a sir. Only officers are are referred to with uh, as sir. So he was uh, even though he's a drill sergeant, he was still he's still enlisted. So you refer to him as uh, yes, drill sergeant or yes, sergeant. Um, yeah, so we so we got yelled at a lot, and there were midnight room checks and getting drug out onto the uh, to the. The, the base, whatever the heck you call the quad to do planks for five minutes and get screamed at. And Is that like planking like people used to do on Twitter? Yeah, similar, real similar. <laughs> um, and, and just, we were like, and all the things that we were, all these like hints we were supposed to pick up on, none of us did. Like our, our drill sergeant was like, I'm sorry, I let you guys down, you're doing this all wrong. Um, so it's my fault, so I'm gonna do the exercise for you. So the guy's just, he's working out in front of us and we're all standing there thinking like, oh, well, this is great, he's working out for us. But really we learned we were supposed to say like, oh no, we're not gonna let you do this alone. So we were supposed to get down there and do it with him. We, we didn't catch Things that Things that people hand. would never well, in life do. No, I'm like, well, if he's gonna work out for me, I'm gonna let him do it, this right. is great. Yeah, you do the 400 push-ups. it's great. In no way did we do justice to what our service men and women do on a daily basis, but we got a small, small glimpse of an idea of potentially what they do. I mean, we can't say like, oh, we bonded because we went to boot camp. We as actors did because it was an experience that we, we had together and we had a lot of laughs and like, it was terrifying at times. But at the end of the day, we knew that like, hey, in three days we go back to LA and so this isn't real. So how would you do in the army? How do you think you would fare? Ah, uh, if we could just do it a little later in the day, it'd be great. Not a morning person? Yeah, I mean, like, why do we need to start at six? Right. What's wrong with nine? It's sensible. So how do you do a proper salute? You must know how to do that. Ooh, okay. that was good. <laughs> right, now you're a little far. Just middle finger to the oh. tip of the eyebrow there. Okay. Straighten your hand out a little do bit. I, do I, can I do a little, a little eye lift you gotta, while I do that? You gotta, you gotta kinda so that kind of works for, I don't it. think my hand yeah, does there, that. Make sure you, no, there you have it. Uh, yeah. A moment. What are we doing tonight? Oh my God, stop it. I have a, a picture from your Twitter behind uh, you on the monitor. Do I want to turn around? No, this is, I mean, I find this actually really impressive. You're not even gonna look, are you? No, I'm just did looking, you, I'm did, watching the other interviews you have. Oh, come on. So this is what you took away from boot camp. So just say yes. Uh, yeah, a friend of mine <laughs> was doing a, 10 days, a thousand push-ups a day for her charity. So I was just trying to support her in that. So this isn't like your normal workout routine? What she thinks is that that was my 1,000th for the day, but really I just had somebody take a picture of me doing one and sent it to her. So that was, I did one that day. Well, you look hideous. I don't know why one you would put that on your Twitter. Yeah, I, I feel like... I mean, if you look that bad, why would you even... I touched you know? it up. I had somebody Did you touch retouch it? it? Yeah. Are you one of those guys that I do that? I put some triceps in. Well, you're one of those that you come up, I mean, you're like a guy's guy. Thank you. You take that as a compliment. I do. You don't seem to have, like, do you have any girly things that you do. Is there anything I sort plucked, of metro? I my unibrow this morning. <laughs> does, that, does that help? That counts. Yeah. That yeah. counts. I was getting, as you got out Touch, of the shower. Retouching and, your photos on yeah, Twitter yeah. And, and plucking your eyebrows. I was like, well, I'm going to go on TV with Nikki today and ask her on a third date. So I better pluck my unibrow. That's kind of. That definitely counts. I guess. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. I will agree to go on a date with you if you give me 20 right here. Yeah, that's no problem. <laughs> How do we move the table? Oh god, this is One, terrible angle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm trying to be your drill sergeant. Yeah, Wait, you got a really good angle right back. now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't look at you. Please don't I'm look up. <laughs> I'll call 20. I should, yeah, there, we go. there you go. Oh god. See you tonight. Time for you guys to turn off. <laughs> okay, you guys turn the camera. <laughs>